y'all, it is June 9th and we're in Waco, Texas. We are right by the silos and we're gonna take you guys inside for like a quick peek because we are finally going to Austin, which is our last and final destination of this road trip. It's been, it it's felt, been a long it, one. Yeah, it yeah. feels like it's been a week, but it literally has only been like three days, so. Yeah, like he said, it's been a long one. So we're gonna take you guys inside and see what it looks like because we've never been there, but we are a big fan of the show, Fixer Upper. So I'm excited. It's closed today though, so we can't get full access. Like all the shops, right? But yeah. you can still go in like the- I think it's gates, thing. so we can look over. We'll show you as much as we can. Okay, let's do it. So. So unfortunately, the Magnolia area was closed, and it is closed on Sundays apparently. We didn't really know that, but now we do. Um, and there was like a church service going on, and like that was like the only entrance, and it was like kind of like behind the stage, so like everyone was facing that entrance, if that makes sense. So it was kind of awkward to just like walk in the middle of it. So we couldn't really get that much footage for you guys, unfortunately. I was really sad because I just wanted to like go in and like kind of see everything from the inside. Like I didn't really care if like the stores were closed, but we couldn't do it. So we'll definitely take a road trip to- yeah, we need to go back, it looked kind of nice. Yeah. The downtown area looked nice too. We are currently in Round Rock, Texas. Um, it's about 40 minutes from Austin. No, it's like 20. We're going to South it's Austin for our Airbnb. It's hard to drive through it. Uh, so we're not that far away, really. And I guess you're right. Yeah. So this is our first impression of Austin yeah. ever. Literally, we'd never been. I have never. no sunglasses on, if you're wondering. But um. <laughs> yeah, Ryan couldn't find his sunglasses for some reason. But yeah, I this is our first. Leave in no, they should be packed somewhere in that U-Haul or somewhere in here. I don't That's know good. where they'll be, but yeah. Eventually, I'll find them. Yeah. So. I have some in my car too. I know that, but this will be our first time ever seeing the skyline going through it doing anything. I mean, I don't pictures. know what to expect, yeah, honestly. Yeah, I, I've i only been to Houston, Texas that I remember, so driving through Texas is, like, very different from what I saw in Houston, because Houston obviously is a big city, and we're going through, like, random cities. We're going to, like, farm towns. Yeah. Like, we like, literally awesome just like, saw a so. freaking bull. Yeah, I've never A seen freaking that. bull. It was, like, actually the coolest thing ever. I was like, wait, is that not gated? Because, you know, sometimes the gates just don't it's really... Like wire or yeah, it's like wire, so you can't, like, really see it. Like, I was like, um, why is that just roaming around? <laughs> That's, like, what I thought at first. We will keep you updated on our first impressions. Like, this is the traffic. Deaths. This is, like... What? Close is bad traffic, and this person in traffic at 1 o'clock on a Sunday. In Round Rock. <laughs> yeah, not right even in Austin. Austin yeah. But, yeah, like I said, 32 minutes. The thing that sucks about driving like with a U-Haul, because we're pretty much caravanning this whole trip, there's no reason to drive ahead just because we're like meeting up at every stop, you know? Yeah. So it's been so slow. Literally last night, there wasn't even traffic or anything, but the U-Haul can really only go like 60 miles per hour or something yeah, like 70, that. Yeah, the 70 going around, but the big semis come. Yeah. And just like shake it all around yeah. the road, it's just hard. Yeah, so we're going like 60 miles per hour and it literally adds on so many minutes to our drive. I swear the first time we, um, what was our first stop? Why can't I remember this? Season? Oh yeah, we stopped in NOLA and I swear it took us like nine hours. No. With like stops and everything, but we didn't even stop for that long. I don't know, it's just going so slow. We're almost there. And I'm like the type of person that like, barely ever stops during road trips and drives like like a straight shot so very different but you know you gotta do what you gotta do we're 16 minutes away from our airbnb we are passing by like ut's campus right yeah and we're like under this okay we're currently under this little thing and i was telling ryan that like before all this it was it looked like la a little bit I don't know. There's just a couple of similarities that I see. I'm excited. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. Me too. Me love it. Me nervous. Okay, we're still under this thing. <laughs> We've been here for like more than 10 minutes, probably 15. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Is this what Austin traffic is? Because I don't know. I might have to turn around. There's something like happening on the bridge, or I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but something sketchy. Looks like this So we just passed by downtown for the first time. It was really pretty. Yeah, we just saw there. like the little river or the lake or whatever it was. Serious question guys, if you guys are from Austin or Texas, I know food trucks are a big thing here. How does one eat at a food truck in this weather? I can never eat hot food when I'm hot. So like I'm very intrigued by that. I don't know, comment down below how the hell you do it, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. It's like really hot. It just looks hot. <laughs> so we stopped at our Airbnb and put all of our stuff there, but now we are at South Congress, or wait, Lamar? South Congress, I think. South this is South Lamar or South Something Australia. like that. We're eating at TLC, so that is our first food stop in Texas.